why you need to run men over with your car. This is exactly why. I'm black. Stop making me blue. Hello. Honestly, the Target perfumes are some bangers. I was over there smelling all of them. The one thing I want to ask is, do the hockey players really be getting bucky necky on the plane? They be taking their clothes off. Hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie. Play and like some of the men in these romance books that be grumpy. I'd be like, mmm, get somebody else to do it. Girl, please go to hell. Like, please go to hell with a heater. Looks like I I just got back from a little Target and pet store run as you guys hopefully had saw in the b-roll I was trying to get Pep some fish but they didn't have any in stock because and a holiday just passed so they were looking real sparse on the fish okay and then there was like an adoption agency that was there and there were kittens and there were puppies and they were just so cute and i want one so bad hopefully soon we shall see but i'm just here to start the vlog so today we have another ku reading weekend so i'm starting it today i'm going to tell you guys some of the books that i have on my kindle am i going to be able to read all of them in the weekend absolutely not but i am going to end up picking up a couple of them so i just want to tell you guys what's on my radar now let's see on my radar we first have team players which i have physically i know this is an independently published book i don't know if she got picked up but i know i read the first one on my kindle so i ended up buying these editions of the books because i like these covers better so I'm reading I'm gonna read the second one and this one this one I know for sure that I'm gonna pick up because I've heard really good things about it and everybody's just been in their hockey player bag and I'm just trying to join you know what I'm saying I'm trying to join see what's going on there but excited to read this it's a romance I don't really know what it's about I think there's two black leads and that's all I want to know I don't want to know anything else I just want to go into it blind and enjoy it let me grab blossom child so we have a few books on here let's see let me tell y'all all the books out on downloaded recently so one of them i have is the love language series i have the first book in that series i think each book in the series follows a different couple that has a specific love language so i'm excited to read that because i do know what my love language is my love language is gifts <laughs> my least favorite love language is physical touch so yeah, if you guys know what your love languages are, leave it in the comment section below. If you don't know, I'll I'll link the test that you take in order to find it out. I'm not sure what the first, which love language the first one follows, but there's that one. And it's called Magnolia, A Perfect Love. And this is book one by Asia Monique. And then I also downloaded Heavy is the Head, Love and War. Now I talked about this one in my last Kindle Unlimited reading vlog and i have started it i'm only like five percent into it so i haven't read that much of it but it's short so i'm hoping i get more into the story and really am able to just like fly through it then i also downloaded mile high which i want to say this is i want to say this is a hockey romance too and it has like a flight attendant from what i remember i think mayana is the one that i heard talking about this and everybody has really been enjoying this series and the second one just came out so i downloaded that one as um that one as well called right the right move so i downloaded both of those those are all the ones that i have on my tbr 
I don't know. All of these I really want to read, but I want to get more into Heavy as the Head, Love and War because I started it and I just haven't gotten into it all the way. So I'm really just trying to find time to really deep dive. And as far as what movie we're going to watch, I actually was telling you guys that I have a DVD, which is a Studio Ghibli film that I bought a while ago. Like it's not, it's literally not even open. I didn't even take the wrapper off. I don't even know when I bought this, <laughs> but I bought this so long ago and I just, I'm just now realizing that it's a Studio Ghibli film. So I was like, I might as well watch this in the next vlog. So this one is called A Secret World of Arietti. So I don't know what this is about. It's, it's giving me Thumbelina vibes because she looks small in this cover. So I don't know, but I do have a DVD player. So I'm going to definitely watch this. Hopefully... I enjoy it but let me know if you guys have read this I'm hoping I enjoy this one more than what was the last one that I watched damn what was the last one that I watched I keep wanting to say no face but that's not the name of the movie what is it called oh lord what is the name of that damn movie that y'all had me watch I don't forgot the name of it I'm, I'm trying to completely erase it from my memory <laughs> and Loki scared me a little bit but yeah I'm hoping I enjoy this one more than the last one that I watched I'm excited. Nice because I have the DVD so that means if I do enjoy it I can watch it again and I also went to Target so I want to show you guys a couple of things that I picked up there. I'm I'm trying to understand Target and see what the hype is about but I just feel like it's like overpriced and I, I just don't know how to navigate in there but they've been sprucing up the Target in my area so they've been having some cute stuff up in there so I've been trying to learn the ins and outs of Target child but I need to go there anyway because I need to change my tongue ring because I got my tongue pierced like two weeks ago. It was a part of a glow up vlog that will never see the light of day because there were so many things going wrong in that vlog. I completely scrapped it, okay? But I did get my tongue pierced like two weeks ago so I want to change the bar. So I had to get mouthwash because I want to like sanitize the, the bar before I put it in my tongue and I can finally get rid of this long, extra long bar because if you don't know when you get your tongue pierced they put a really long bar in your tongue you know, put really long piercing in your tongue so that when it swells you know you don't have any issues there but I have had my tongue pierced before so they literally just re-pierced the hole that was already there and the swelling was very minimum so I, the healing really didn't take that long for me but I got new tongue rings so I'm gonna change my tongue ring I also got new belly button rings because I have two piercings in my belly button. I have a I have my top belly button pierced and I have my bottom belly button pierced. The bottom is still open. The top one I might have to get re-pierced soon. I'm kind of like on a piercing kick right now so I'm kind of just like riding the wave. But I might have to get the top one re-pierced because I think that one's like closed or it healed weird or whatever. But I need to change those so I got alcohol. Other than that, I also got... I had to get more moisturizer child every time everything is paid i have food in the fridge all the bills are paid everything's at peace all of this, this the items around the house start running out it's always the detergent the dish detergent the body wash the face moisturizer the sunscreen the everything something is always running out deodorant whatever lotion it's like bruh as soon as you have a little piece of money a whole bunch of you gotta start buying so I had to buy some more moisturizer La Roche Posay for my moisturizer and I use CeraVe for my cleanser I, these are the only two things these are the only two things that I put on my face and water because I tried like the multiple step skincare thing and it just doesn't work for me because my skin is very low maintenance I don't have to do anything anything to my skin and it's always been like that so when I start putting a whole bunch of stuff on my face it irritates my skin and I was having issues with that. So I just keep it simple. I need a cleanser, moisturizer, water, and sunscreen. That's it. <laughs> keep it very simple. I also grabbed some perfume. I got sweet on the outside. Honestly, the Target perfumes are some bangers. I was over there smelling all of them and they weren't too expensive. They all smell really good. So I got this one and um, I got a face mask, but this is like a peel-off mask, so I got a peel-off mask right here. And this is what I want to show y'all. I got some clothes, child, because summer and spring is slowly approaching. It's starting to get hot. It's time to go outside. It's time to get the cute fits ready. 
you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's about that time. Okay. So, I got two different tube tops. I'm really trying to get into, like, my earthy black goddess era, you know, era right now. I'm just trying to dress. I just, I'm just trying to get more pieces that have that vibe. I'm just trying to mix up my closet. Because, honestly, I'm just over all the clothes that I have. I really want to just throw all that way and completely redo my wardrobe but i got two different tube tops i got black and i got lime green bright and loud and i got this cute little this is cute little shirt and i got this little set this is gonna be so cute on me but i got this set hopefully it's not too big but i got this this is the top super cute and i got these little shorts hopefully it can fit all the caboose because you know your girl's built like a brick house so hopefully it fits i got the largest size they had so we gonna see you i got the top and i got the bottom really really cute and that's basically that's basically it there so i'm going to eat i have a lash appointment in a couple of hours so there's that i'm gonna have to close out this other vlog that I'm currently working on for you guys, these are kind of like getting mashed up because it was another video I filmed that I scrapped. I just wasn't filling some of the videos I was filming, so now my schedule is all a mess. But I have to close out another video that I'm working on because it's the final day for that one. And then I will check in with you guys later. Okay? Bye. Sweet You guys, all of their names are flowers, and that's exactly what I want to do when I have daughters. I want to name them after flowers. Well, they're middle names, so that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. And one of the girls' names is Blossom, so, you know, Blossom is the name of my Kindle, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's cute. It's cute already. Signs, you're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. I know you're feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. Living on the prayer that you can't change. Save me. I was <laughs> Okay, I was gonna update you guys, but where I was stopping at, it was about to be a sex scene, so I, I had to read that. I'm so sorry, but let's chat. Okay, let's see. How far am I in? Almost 50%. All right. Okay, so I'm 47% into the Love Language series, the first book that follows Magnolia, and this book follows the Love Language words of affirmation so this one follows the main character lennox and magnolia she is a sister of five which i love and he is a brother of is there three of them i think there's three brothers in his family really enjoying this so far honestly i'm like flying through it i think it's going to be short it's like two hours left in this so i might try to read again after i watch the movie and eat you know some dinner but really enjoying this so far i like both of the main characters they both have like complicated pasts and i really like books that follow siblings like siblings and books are like one of my favorites and books that have like big families i really enjoy as well so it's nice to see magnolia has like four other sisters like i really love that and they're very close-knit and one of the sisters her name is blossom and if you're new here or if you don't know my kindle 
Mike's name, my Kindle's name is Blossom. We came up with the name together on the island. So it just was cute to see that because like flower themed names is kind of like something that I want to do when like when I have my daughters and stuff like that my future kids you know what i'm saying so it's just cute to see that in the book and all of them have very distinct personalities i'm really excited to read the other books i really want to read blossom's book and i think there's like lilac and all of them have like different really cute names so loving that lennox is the love interest and we're also getting two POVs, so we get to follow Magnolia's POV, and we get to follow Lennox's POV. And Lennox's mother suffered with mental illness, so we get to see like a, a little bit of a view on that. And Magnolia and her sisters, their father basically abandoned them because they lost, like basically their father basically abandoned them when they were really young and they were raised by their aunts. So they're dealing with that and it's kind of just like interesting to see them both dealing with difficult things in their adult lives and trying to navigate and work through that and figuring out how it affects them and figuring out how it made them who they are as an adult because I think he's 30 and she's 29 so they're you know a little bit older but it's just interesting to see them navigate through like their traumas and their past and touch base with their family and try to like work through that they have good chemistry he also is a divorcee so his ex keep trying to pop up and it's just like <sighs> like girl can you go like can you leave like she keeps trying to pop up and be friends it's like everybody don't need to be damn friends like eh. Everybody don't need to be friends, please. Like, he keeps saying, like, I'm not trying to be your friend or whatever. And speaking of friends, because Magnolia deals with, like, abandonment issues, she really doesn't want to give anyone the chance to, like, get close to her. So she kind of marks Lennox as her friend, even though they've basically been dating for, like, six months. She kind of just, like, talks to him and tells him, like, oh, I'm really cool with, like, being BFFs. And he's just, like okay like I'll take it <laughs> I'll take it I guess because like it's either we be friends or you don't want me to be a part of your life so he kind of just like talks it up they be friends but they're still basically dating and she trying to like work through that they are not friends child <laughs> she talking about some they friends but they try to spend like y'all are not friends like let's be so for real but they're trying to both work through their past traumas in order to like build and understand and grow into like a relationship I guess this I just read the sex scene. Sex scene was good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so far so good. Really enjoying it. Almost halfway through. I'm probably going to try to read a little bit more of it today so that I don't have too much to read tomorrow. And we'll have the first book done. But I do feel like it's a little bit disjointed because we got a lot... Like, I feel like... I don't know I don't know how to explain it like there's a lot going on in the book like Lennox is dealing with his stuff Magnolia is dealing with her stuff we also are seeing like really big families being mixed in we're trying to introduce all of like the family members it's just it's a lot going on it was a little bit disjointed we had we I feel like I need more time with like Lennox and Magnolia together because there's been a few scenes with them like hanging out going on dates but it kind of is like fast tracked and then more time is spent like with them being around their family and like working through their issues and then like coming together and talking about it so hopefully as the book goes on we get more time with them together because I want to see their relationship develop I know they're working through stuff but I want to see their relationship develop you know what I'm saying but yes I kind of want to try another glass of that margarita thing but it had me a little tipsy <laughs> it had me a little tipsy so I'm like scared if I have another glass it's gonna be lights out so I don't know I think I'm gonna eat my food I might have another glass and see see how it goes but I'm trying to be coherent when I read the latter half of this book so yeah but that's where we're at I'm gonna eat and watch this movie and then I will check in with you guys after so I'll see you in the next clip bye maybe you know princess if you really were gonna cuddle up to me in the dark I'd want you to be a little curvier otherwise it'd be no fun for me what is that supposed to be Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you play a favorite movie laying right
Vegetable lasagna is done. It has like ricotta cheese and this butternut squash um, blend. It all came out really good. I'll leave the recipe in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But this is from one of my favorite blogs, Ambitious Kitchen. Just sizzling. And it smells so good. I just have to put the parsley on there and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and it'll be done. What's up y'all? So the house is smelling very veggie-ish. <laughs> I'm basically prepping all my food and cooking. I'm making, I think I already showed it on the last clip, but I have a salad for lunch. I'm making a veggie lasagna for dinner and I have an hour left in the first love language series book and so far so good honestly like I told you guys in the last clip it feels like we're following more of like the family drama and the family-esque situations than we are like the romance and this is my first time reading from this author so I don't know if we got to see glimpses of these relationships in the other books so it was like a continuation in this specific series like you know how there's spinoffs and you get to see like the deep dives or the startup of like the entire family dynamic and you know what to expect i don't know if that was brought in the other books so it's just like a continuation and it doesn't feel far-fetched but for me because it's my first time reading from this author and the beginning of the series for me i want to see more of the romance and i feel like a lot of romance in today's day and age has like family added into it and sometimes it's okay when it's kind of like the back burner or like back situation because it's like obviously there's more going on in the character's life than just the specific romance but like when the family dynamic takes over the entire plot or takes over the entire story it feels a little bit I don't know it feels a little bit odd anytime the actual couple is in the forefront because I'm getting so used to following along with the family so it feels like more of a contemporary book I don't know if that makes sense but yeah so far but I am enjoying it because I do like siblings in books I do like family dynamics but I wish there just was more romance and I wish we got to see more of the actual love language because this one's this one follows the the main character her name is magnolia i think she's the eldest and her love language is i think words of affirmation so i just wish we got to see more of that i'm not sure if we're going to get more of that towards the end but again i have an hour left so i will let you guys know but i also wanted to show you guys i went to paneri and i got this little can you see i got this little tulip cookie Look at how cute. Can you guys see? I feel like this is too bright. There. Now you can kind of see it. It's a little tulip cookie. How cute. Honestly, summer was my favorite season last year, but I think spring is my favorite because it's been less rain and more sun and the perfect weather, like between 60 to 70, where it's not like scorching hot. And it's just like blue skies. It just feels good to be outside. So this is just, you know, happy, a happy spring moment. Very cute. Mmm. It's like a lemon drop cookie, I think. Mmm. Okay. Still cooking, but... It's just the lasagna in the oven, so I don't really have to do anything else. But I think I'm going to watch Arietti and eat my dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to eat dinner and watch this. I'm going to read a little bit more of this book. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Okay, y'all. What's up? Okay. So, I have finished the first book of the vlog, which is... The love language series and I think I'm gonna give it a 3.75 I feel like a three star is too low because I enjoyed the characters I enjoyed the dynamic I enjoyed the idea of like each book following a different love language 
But like I told y'all in the other clips, I wanted to see more of the love language because Magnolia's love language is words of affirmation. And aside from Lennox telling her that she's beautiful, there wasn't much words of affirmation. They did have good communication. They did talk a lot about like their outside issues and how to work and navigate through like family problems, trauma, dealing with your emotions, coming to face with your trauma, stuff like that. They had really good communication with stuff like that. But if it's a romance book and her love language is words of affirmation, I wanted to see that be used in the dynamic of them falling for each other you know what i'm saying so i don't know i enjoyed it i really want to read blossoms because she was like my favorite sister so she's like the second youngest and she seems like the most feisty and i don't remember what her love language is but whoever love language is gifts is the same that's my love language so that's the one i really want to read but blossoms book is like book five so <laughs> i don't know but i'm going to maybe download the next two continue on with the series because I just want to see I want to see if the other love languages are more in the forefront in like the further books like the more she gets used to like writing the series I want to see if like the love languages will actually be brought forth more so there's that and like I told you guys I'm going to start I think this movie that I'm going to watch is called Arietti Arietti, Arietti, whatever. And like I told y'all, it's giving me Thumbelina vibes. So I think it's going to be cute. I think it's going to be fun. going to watch that. Eat my dinner. I already showed y'all what I made. I made uh, vegetable lasagna. And lasagnas always taste better the day after. Like when you let them just settle. So I'm excited to eat that. And I'm going to start Mile High next. So I honestly thought you guys would wanted me to read Team Players because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about that book. But y'all want me to read Mile High, so I'm going to read Mile High next. I'm interested to see if I'm going to like it because I, I see a couple of my Islanders wasn't really feeling it like that. Which I'm surprised by because I thought everybody loved this damn book. So we'll see where I fall, child. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Bye. And I told y'all I wanted to change my piercing. So this... Oh, zoom in. This is what I have for nose rings. I kind of miss my little dainty diamond moment. I like having the hoop, but I want my diamond back. So I'll probably pick one of the diamonds, but I have to sterilize it before I put it in my nose. But I'll probably end up going with like one of the colorful ones. Like one of the like diamonds that have color in it. And then these are all of the tongue. These are all the tongue rings that I have. I really, I like the hearts, but they don't really look like hearts, and yeah, I don't know. Knowing me, I'll probably pick pink, so there's no surprise there. These are all the belly button rings that I have. Again, I probably will pick something pink, but I kind of want blue. Like, I've really been feeling blue lately, so maybe I'll do the blue one. Who knows, but... This is what we got. This is what we got going on. Got to sterilize everything and then I'll switch everything out. Okay, so here's what I decided on. The nose ring one, it's like a little flower. Look how cute. It's also the dainty diamond blue, but I really like the way this one looks. So we'll try both, see which one's cuter. Belly button rings, we got the hanging one. From what I remember, the hanging ones used to get on my nerve because they would get caught in my drawers or get caught on my jeans. So... I don't know how long it's gonna last, but this one I like the most. And then tongue ring, we have like a sparkly pink, shiny sparkly pink. So yeah, let's get all these sterilized. It's funny how you wake up each day and never really know if it'll be one that will change your life forever. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. That corner coffee shop we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. These little songs 
Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds Update, update. It's time for an update. Why well, I look blue? Hello? Hello? Girl, I'm black. Stop making me blue. Hello? There we go. Update, update. It's time for an update. Okay, so I have started mile high. I think I'm only... How far am I? <sighs> Oh, I changed my nose ring. If y'all can see, I put the flower one in. It's so cute. And the tongue ring. The tongue ring feels good because I had that long bar in my mouth. If you could see how long the bar is when you get your tongue pierced, I was ready to take that out. Like, and it healed pretty fast because I had my tongue pierced before, so it didn't take that long. Yeah, 6%. So I'm on chapter 4 of... Is it mile high? Yeah, chapter four of mile high. And, oh, I just realized it, the title. <laughs> and her occupation. She about to join the mile high club. Okay, all right. Trying to see what happens there. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it. We'll see how long that lasts. I honestly think I'm gonna enjoy it because it has one of my favorite tropes, which is grumpy. Well, this isn't really grumpy sunshine because she don't seem sunshine. But, I don't know, I like when one of the main characters are assholes. I prefer when the women are the grumps, or the women are the ice queen, or the ones with the attitude. Like, I like that more than I like when the guys are the grumps. Because some of the sh that the dudes be saying in these romance books that are supposed to be grumpy, you simply can't come back from. I don't know in what world, some of the stuff they be saying, I be like... No, this is why you need to run men over with your car or like this is exactly why the women I feel like when they're grumpy They just have like attitudes or like they're misunderstood But some of the men in these romance books that be grumpy I'd be like mm, Get somebody else to do it. But so far this is giving the playboy trope So he's just like, you know, he's the player of the team. He's very full of himself He always gets his way. He's like the villain Everybody thinks, and he thinks he's a nice guy, but he isn't. He's basically like the bachelor of the team. So we have the main character. Her name is Stevie, and she's a flight attendant. The um, love interest, his name is... What the hell is his name? Child, I forgot the boy name already. Is it Zachary? Xanders. <laughs> no, Zachary. His name is Xanders, child. So Xanders is on a professional hockey team and they basically have their own plane and now they're having a flight crew that they keep for the entire season so him and stevie are going to be working together and they've already started off on kind of like the wrong foot because he's just rude like he's rude and he's arrogant and he was talking to her talking about something like oh do you want my autograph like oh blah 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 and she's like i'm just trying to give you your debrief because you sit on the emergency exit but okay since you so full of yourself and now he kind of is like pushing her buttons because he knows she got a little bit of an attitude and child it's just funny to me i love when romance books have banter in them or have like push and pull or like characters that don't like each other because it's just always better when they finally do like each other i hate when two characters are super sweet like each other immediately and it's just like insta love i don't i'm not for that i like seeing the banter i like seeing when they don't like each other i like grumps so let's eat okay let's eat i'm ready I'm ready. I didn't realize how long this was, so this is definitely going to be longer than I expected. Like, you know, I like to do my KU reading weekends from Friday to Sunday, but I'm going to have to spread this out during the week so that I can try to finish the book. It's saying that's going to take me 12 hours to read, and y'all know I'm a slow reader, so we don't know how long that's going to take. But I'm going to try to put in some work and get more reading done with this one so I can finish it and then close out the vlog. <laughs> but so far... I'm enjoying it. We got a thick main character, which I'm all for. I think both of the main characters are black. 
I can't tell if Xander's is black yet, but he got a gold chain, he got manicured nails, and he has rings. So, I don't know. <laughs> it might be bad for her. It might it might be bad for her. I don't know, cause I would be I would be I would fold immediately. Like you telling me this man got manicured nails, rings, and a gold chain. The way I would fold like a lawn chair. <laughs> It would, bad, it would be bad for me. But Stevie seemed like she would. So I'm excited to see her character. She a little, she's a little insecure. But I'm hoping she get her confidence. Because you need that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to continue. But I just want to check in with you guys. And let you know that I started Mile High. So we'll see how it goes child. See y'all in the next clip. What's up y'all? Ooh, child, it is raining outside. The good weather is gone for now. I think it's going to be raining for the rest of the week, but it's kind of hard for me to do that now that I have a tongue rain. Like, I have to actually think about it. Yikes. We're here for a up-zate, up -zate, you know what I'm saying? Your girl has tracked down the audiobook, so it's up. Okay, I was a little nervous because y'all know I'm a slow reader and this book is clearly longer than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like a novella or something. It's simply not. It's like a full-fledged novel. I am now 37%? 37% into it, so I, I got a lot done. I feel like I'll be able to finish it by the end of the week and then close it. Okay, so a few things. Number one... <laughs> The one thing I want to ask is, do the hockey players really be getting Bucky Necky on the plane? They be taking their clothes off mid-flight? Is that actually a thing? Because if it is, I might need to change professions. Like, I might need to change my careers. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Well... Well, no, no, unless, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But and that is just so odd to me how like, they have to show up to their flight all dressed up. But then once they get on the flight, they just all be butt naked and just change on a flight. They can't use the bathroom and do that and take turns. I mean, I guess because they're used to it because they share locker rooms, but that is just still so odd to me to be up in the air and taking off your clothes with a whole bunch of people around okay that's number one number two xander's really is full of himself that i don't think you know i haven't read too many romance books that have like the playboy guy in it because i'm just like this nigga. he he is just so full of himself like and it's just like all the things that are being brought up like how he's not really a playboy, he's just doing it for the media, and how he has a charity, and how he's really sweet and really nice and blah, blah, blah. Listen, <laughs> he has been too arrogant for me to believe he's really a sweetheart, but I want to see more of the sweetness. Oh, and he has come from a broken home, and his mom a gold digger. It's just like, all the typical things I would expect for him to just be like, a broken playboy who is terrified of commitment like all those typical things are being brought up i'm just like okay the writing is meh the writing is meh i don't know i did i tell you guys who okay in my head i'm picturing a very specific actor for xander's i think he's black i i, I can't really tell because like this is the thing when it's like a black black book i can tell when the characters are black but when it's like a black book written by a white author it just be missing that it just be missing something so i think he's black from what the girls have been saying but in my head i'm thinking of this actor that i seen in this movie this one time i'll put up a picture right here so y'all can see who i'm talking about but it's working for me it's working for me in my head it's working out it's working out so that's how that's where we're at with that number another thing i want to talk about why is stevie working you mean to tell me your brother is a millionaire he is a basketball player like the star point guard and you working as a flight attendant the employment offices would never see me like i simply if my sibling was rich filthy rich a basketball player, a well-known basketball player, 
I would never work a day in my life. I would simply be the Hennessy to the Cardi B. Like, what What do you mean I have to go to work and work a nine to five and struggle and make my way? Like, people be getting on my nerves in some of these books where they are well off, their family's well off, or they have a sibling that's well off, where they don't really have to struggle like that, but they choose to struggle to like prove a point. Like, girl, if you don't sit down somewhere, like, why are you a flight attendant and your brother work is in the NBA? What? He's a millionaire. What do you mean you're going to work a nine to five? Are you kidding me? Nine to who? I Like, I would never work a day in my life. Like, I simply would not. Like, are you kidding me? Because if I'm up, my family is up. So I don't see why she trying to prove, I don't know, maybe she just want to have her own bread, but flight attendants don't make that much. So it's like, oh, that shit is blowing me. But okay, so we've gotten far enough to where they have smashed, you know, of course when they have sex, they make eye contact and now he just hooked. He's never seen love like this before, blase, blase, blah, whatever. So yeah, he getting her gifts. She work at the little animal shelter. It's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty good. I don't know. I like my 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 boys in romance books to be like swooning over like the grumpy main character, like the grumpy girl main character and the golden retriever boy main character who is just super infatuated with her will always eat to me. So the playboy that is like fighting himself, but he's starting to feel her a little bit, but still he's still arrogant. It's just okay for me. It's just okay. I'm not hating it. It's just, it's I right. Like if I had to give it a grade, I would give it like a D plus. I give it like a D plus so far. But we are 37% in, so hopefully tomorrow I'm really gonna crack down on my attention span and really try to pay attention and actually read more. Because I really could have gotten 50% into this book today, but you know how you be listening to audiobooks sometimes and you like zone out? That's how, that's, you know, that's me with reading all the time honestly but yeah i feel like i got a good chunk done I'm glad i found the audiobook because i'll be able to finish this book for you guys and yeah that's all i have to say for this update okay i will see y'all in the next clip bye what's up y'all what's up all right so i'm here to close the vlog i honestly feel like i'm missing a few clips from this vlog but it feels cohesive enough I've already edited enough and this would be the final clip so I don't know I guess if it was anything from this vlog that I was missing I can add it in the next one so I apologize about that but I want to show y'all I want to show you my wrap snacks so I'm a chip kind of sore you know what I'm saying I love chips and y'all know I'm from Connecticut and Atlanta I kind of did like but been in both for a majority of my life so I'm like a perfect mix of New England and the dirty south you know what I'm saying and in Connecticut my favorite chips to eat were the UTZ chips you know with like the girl in the front and in Atlanta my favorite chips to eat are wrap snacks so let me show you guys some of the wrap snacks I got they got these new wrap snacks little baby wrap snacks nacho nachos salt and vinegar barbecue onion garlic nacho cheese and more so it's like doritos but it just got more flavor in it and then these are like my favorite ones so far these are my number one these are my favorite and then the rick ross ones because they're pink but flavor wise these are like my go-to low dirt ranch this is like my go-to favorite one and then they got these new ones that are money bag yo but they're the hot o-rings so your girl's happy. I'm not gonna eat all of these, <laughs> but I, I just, I love wrap snacks. But we're here to close the vlog, so let's do that. So let's see, let's start with, so let's start with the movie. So the movie that I watched in this Kendall Unlimited reading vlog was Arietti, and I really enjoyed it. Honestly, it was, I was kind of right when I said I thought it was gonna be like Thumbelina, because there were small, smaller people in this movie, but they were borrowers. And it's interesting because growing up, one of my favorite series that I used to read in like elementary school was following this family that were, were, were called borrowers. And I don't remember what the name of the 
actual series was if it was if they were called borrowers but i used to read from a series when i was growing up that followed the same thing and this is basically following this family that lives there and like the borrowers are basically going extinct because people keep finding out about them and hurting them or whatever so they kind of feel very secluded and off grid and there's this young boy that ends up going to this his um aunt's house because he has to get this surgery for his heart because he has some type of illness and he finds out about her family and he tries to help them they end up moving and it just it's just really cute very wholesome it was honestly really short i wish it was longer i wish it like continued on and showed what happened with both of their lives but i feel like it was it was fine the way it ended up it was beautiful it was cute I really enjoyed her character and I just love seeing like the flowers and just like I don't know like just the small little details and the illustrations in these movies the Studio Ghibli movies always hit so I really enjoyed that and it just was something simple something cute but so far out of the Ghibli films we've watched together my favorite is still Kiki's Delivery Service I think Kiki's Delivery Service is still my favorite so we've watched Howl's Move a Castle, we watched Kiki's Delivery Service, we watched Spirited Away, we watched Arietti, and I think that's it. I think that's all four of the ones we watched together, but so far Kiki's Delivery Service is my favorite. Another thing, I know y'all be asking me like what animes I'm watching. Right now, I'm trying to finish up Yona the Dawn. Yona the Dawn? Is it Yona the Dawn? Why does that sound weird? Yona the Dawn because it's canceled so it's only two seasons so I can just like fly through it and once I got right around like either episode six or episode nine I really started getting into it because there's been like new things introduced so like it's basically like a traveling plot line and she's trying to find these different dragons that are historically that are in her history like each one has a different magical ability from the dragons from back in the day and there's different like elemental clans like the earth clan the wind clan the water clan like it's just it's really cool it kind of feels like avatar a little bit and like all of the characters have different backstories seeing her grow as a character is also interesting and it's funny the animation is 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 cute too because it has different like styles of animation it feels like a slow burn romance between her and her bodyguard because they have like this banter between each other because they've been best friends since like childhood it was a little bit jarring in the beginning because she was trying to marry her cousin but anytime i question a plot in anything i always think about what i let fly in game of thrones because it's a good show so it's like there was all kind of stuff happening in game of thrones that just was like off the wall so before i turn my nose up at that i need to you know think of game of thrones but yeah so i just pushed through and i'm glad i did because i'm really enjoying the plot of the characters and my favorite character right now is Shinya is it Shinya I think it's Shinya so his name is like Moonlight she gave him the name Moonlight because he didn't have a name he was kind of shunned from his people and his city they kind of saw him as like a curse and each of the dragons um avatars have like a magical ability and his is like he has like the dragon's eyes and he has the ability to basically turn people into stone but I think he can turn it on and off I don't think like if you look in his eyes and he like activates it he can turn you into stone another one has like the dragon's strength so he has like the dragon's arm another one has like the dragon's flight and it's just cool so each um, city she's going to she's trying to find these dragons so it's just fun like it's fun seeing their little found family slowly start building and they're all just funny so right now I'm really watching yona a lot because i'm almost finished with it i'm i have like five episodes left and i'll be done with that and then i'll probably pick up the manga because i'm enjoying it also got like i think i'm on like episode 12 of monster i'm gonna focus on that after and i was also watching hunter 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 is is truly losing me because in the beginning i really enjoyed the plot of like they're called hunters where they like assassinate people and the plot and the characters were like super fun but now it's just giving me like it's giving me like pokemon powerpuff girl plot line vibes and like i love the powerpuff girls and i love pokemon but like I like those shows and I just don't like the plot 
of it in Hunter x Hunter. It just feels very childish in a way. And I don't mind childish stuff because I still watch kids movies and stuff like that. But it just, it's just not catching me. Like it's really just, it's losing me. <laughs> and this is like the longest season. It's losing me right now. So Hunter x Hunter, I kind of pause, but right now I'm focusing on Monster and I'm focused on Yona. So I'm gonna finish Yona the Dawn, then I'll focus on Monster. And then we'll go from there. But that's with the animes. Now, let's close out the vlog and talk about Mile High. So, a few things. One, what was her name? Stevie? Stevie and her confidence was lacking. I like my main character girls to, like, have that confidence. Like, I hate being in the head of, like, insecure characters. I don't mind it if eventually they grow from it. But, like, her getting her confidence specifically from, like... Specifically from like men wanting her or what's his name Xander's wanting her kind of aggravated me because it's just like okay So Zan cuz Xander's think you fine now all of a sudden you got all this confidence like child Please like it, I just wanted her to, to to grow and accept herself and love herself being that I'm a thick girl I have the coke bottle shape always have always will I understand how it feels to be like an outcast or people say bad things about you just based off the shape of your body So I understand how she can feel deterred by that but eventually you got to get over it and if she did get over it based off of her man it's like okay one of my most hate my biggest book icks happened in this book i've talked about it on my tiktok channel but it's where like a character has big insecurities and then like the guy like grabs her and is like these strex marks are beautiful they made children and blah blah blah, blah. whatever it was like this whole scene where like she had tried on a shirt and she was trying to you know support him and his uh his his team child because he was about to play hockey game and she couldn't fit the shirt so he put her in front of the mirror and told her to tell say things that she likes about herself and i ain't gonna lie this is one of my biggest book icks but like that little moment was like kind of touching there were small parts that gave me the ick but like when he said like tell me things that you love about yourself and then he told her to say things that she doesn't like about herself and then he would have a retort it kind of was sweet it kind of was sweet i ain't gonna lie it was a cute little touching moment but it is one of my biggest book icks but in this moment, I didn't hate it 100%. Maybe a little bit, but not 100%. When I tell you, I think I, think I found a new big book ick. And that is, like I told y'all, when characters have the connects or they have the money and they choose to struggle, you true Like, your brother is in the NBA. He why are you thrifting clothes why are you wearing busted nikes like i get like some girls this is their personality this is how they dress this is how they do they want to wear sweatpants and busted nikes okay to each his own but your brother's a millionaire why are you in the thrift store like this is for people that cannot afford it or people that are in a budget people that work nine to fives in a working class like sister girl you do not need to be thrift shopping and i was so tired of them talking about her being a thrifter like wearing all this raggedy don't make you <laughs> more grounded like she did not grow up struggling uh, she didn't come from money but like she has money now like your boyfriend is literally a millionaire and your brother is a millionaire and you talk about some thrift store like girl please go to hell like please go to hell with a heater because there is no way that you are your your people around you have all this money and you just i'm gonna wear sweatpants I'm gonna go thrifting like girl be listen that just aggravates me <laughs> to a whole nother level it's like why you want to struggle so bad like why just just why last thing when she saw Xander's mother and she went off on her I just was like girl and sometimes they'd be doing stuff that is so out of character like <laughs> This was a the timid, shy girl that was, like, begging to be chosen by any man that blinked at her. And you mean to tell me when she see this man mother for the first time ever on the street, she cuss her out and say all this crazy off-the-wall stuff? Like, some of the things, I don't know if it was supposed to be character development. Because then it, she also addressed the paparazzi when they found out about them um, 
you know, being together, whatever. But like, it just, it just felt out of character because she just w wasn't that girl. She didn't seem confrontational. She didn't seem like she had, you know, I don't know if she was, I don't know. Maybe she was changing her demeanor and becoming a new woman, whatever. But that whole scene where she was going off on his mother, I simply, <laughs> what? Like, you never met this man's mother before and the first thing you do is go off on her. I just, I was very baffled by that. It was crazy to me and it felt out of character but overall i'll give mile high three stars the sex scenes were actually pretty good it was i i've said everything i need to say about it those were like i think those were like my last bit of notes and <laughs> i don't know i have the second book as well so i'll see what that one's talking about hopefully it's better than the first one child i don't know but Overall, this was a good vlog. I have everything edited. Everything is good. I have to edit this final clip so that I can get it up for you guys. Yay. Let me know if there's any specific Kindle Unlimited books that you want me to read. You know, feel free to comment. I, I do my best to reply to comments and to see the comments. So if you guys want a specific book, please let me know so that I can plan ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know something that you did this week that made you happy or... Something that you plan on doing that made you happy. If you made it to the end of this vlog, please leave this emoji right here. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see y'all next week, child. And next week is my birthday. So go ahead and click that wish list, you know what I'm saying? Buy your girl some books. And, and we're going to be celebrating my birthday all month long. So even if you send me a book late, it don't even matter, okay? We're going to just stack all the books up for the month of May. Birthday week. So I'll see y'all on my birthday, all right? God willing. <laughs> all right, bye.